Good Sunday morning, folks, and thanks for joining us this morning. I hope you all are having a fantastic weekend. Well, starting off, we are talking to Magda Bolin, who is the Interim Executive Director for La Posada Providencia. So thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you so much for having me. So yeah, of course. <laughs> so please tell us a little bit for those who may not be familiar with La Posada, kind of what you all do. Yes, so um, La Posada Providencia, uh, we are here in South Texas and we serve our community by providing shelter um, to asylum seekers and the homeless. Definitely, and it's something that's super important. Um, and you guys are a nonprofit, so it's it, you're very dependent on you know fundraising events yes. and different things, donations, volunteers. Definitely. Yes, definitely. Everything you mentioned, we do depend on that. Fundraisers, donations. Uh, we also have grant writers, so we we do work on we do that work also. Uh, but definitely, we need the support of the community, and that's why. I'm here today. Yeah, definitely. So tell us a little bit about this event that is coming up. I know it's very soon. I think it's next week already. <laughs> yes. So definitely tell us a little bit about it. Yes. Uh, well, the name of the event is Hands and Hearts, and it's a brunch and auction. We have different, inside the event, you're going to find different activities. We have raffles, silence, and live auctions. We are also going to have some crafts that our clients help build, and you can also purchase those different items that um, yeah, so you can acquire at the event and, you know, just a uh, fun uh, Saturday morning. Definitely. And I know I've seen that this is the ninth annual, so you yes. have done this previously before. Now, has it all been pretty similar or have you guys kind of expanded and started adding more uh, activities and events? Yes, no, definitely. Uh, we've grown and, and uh, we plan to, to continue. We're trying to reach out, uh, you know, out to the community and mm -hmm. hopefully you know every year we want to surpass our previous uh, goal uh, mm -hmm. so this year we want to raise eighty thousand mm -hmm. dollars so um, last year we raised sixty thousand so hopefully this year you know we're gonna do better definitely so. and it's great to have a goal and of course you know start manifesting it if you put it out and <laughs> yes. if you put it in the universe then you can definitely go and reach that goal so I think that's fantastic and so 60,000 last year, your goal is 80,000, and people can come and purchase those tickets. Now, do they need to go to La Posada Providencia to purchase them, the tickets in, or can they just buy them at the door? Well, um, you can, uh, definitely, I would recommend to purchase, uh, purchase the tickets ahead of time, okay. because they're $40. Uh, they can call uh, the shelter, or they can go to our Facebook page, and they can also purchase the tickets online. Mm -hmm. Um, they can also go to lppshelter.org and they can also purchase tickets on our website and or do you, you know just like call us and we can make arrangements like we can mail them mm -hmm. uh, if we have enough time yeah or you know we you know we, we can we're flexible so definitely that's great and so if there's people watching right now that you know want to learn more or they're oh, you know aware of what you guys do out there at the shelter how are different ways that people can help maybe not necessarily they can attend this fundraising event but if there's different things that you need or ways that people can get involved um, to help you all out yes well at the shelter we provide uh, English classes to mm -hmm. our clients we also provide life skills uh, so we do work a lot with volunteers. So we also have a garden. We grow uh, some of our own vegetables that we uh, then consume, you know, prepare for lunches. And so, yes, yeah, like if anybody likes gardening or um, uh, they're, I don't know, they retire teachers mm -hmm. or whatever, uh, we, we, we can definitely use the hands and, you know, for whoever wants to help. And I think it's so interesting that you mentioned that you have English classes and, and life skills. When have, did you guys start doing that? Was it something that you've always done or yes, recently? Yes, it's something that has always been part uh, of our program. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, no, go ahead. No, yes, because what we want to do is uh, since, or like I mentioned before, like most of our clients, uh, they're immigrants mm -hmm. and um, they're looking, uh, they're seeking asylum. And so definitely a lot of them, they come here, they don't even speak English mm -hmm. so we want to help them adapt as as much as possible we teach them about you know traditions here in the United States and you know celebrate like Independence Day Christmas everything like a lot of these things are very new to mm -hmm. them and so yes we, we try to help them as much as possible to uh, feel at home. Mm -hmm, definitely. And is it a shelter for family units? Is it for women, men, children, or is it just, it depends? 
or who can go, I guess? Yes, like uh, usually it's adults mm -hmm. and we do have children, but they come with their parents. Okay, so it's yes. just, okay. Families and adults. Definitely. And so how long do people tend to stay in the shelter? Is it something that they're staying for extended periods of time or? Well, it, it is meant to be temporary, but mm -hmm. of course we make exceptions depending on, on the complexity of each client's case. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay, and so you are open for volunteers or any way that people can help. Of course, you are open to all of that, and they can go ahead and head to your Facebook page, or they can head to the website, or you can always go call. ahead and call. That's <laughs> yes. great, too. So the number is on your screen, and that website is lppshelter.org, and the number is 399-3826. So definitely go ahead and give them a call if you're interested or if you want to know more about this fundraising event. But before we go, we're going to go over details one more time for people who are watching that definitely want to be uh, part of this event so it sounds pretty fun and exciting so let's go over time and then price on tickets yes okay so we open well it's gonna be February 2nd mm -hmm. Saturday we open our doors at 8 30 and we recommend you purchase your tickets ahead of time because they're $40 you can say $5 <laughs> and if not you can acquire your tickets at the door for $45 definitely and what can people look forward to I know it says brunch is served from 10 to 10 45 so make sure you <laughs> arrive on time you know, that's always great. We love brunch. We love brunching <laughs> on the weekend. Yeah, be hungry. <laughs> so what are other things that people can look forward to? Yes, well, we are going to have a live auction, silent auction uh, items. We also going to have client crafts that you can acquire, uh, different items that you can purchase. Um, uh, also, people are going to get to know our Circle of Hope, which is another like a monthly giving program. Mm -hmm. that, that's another way that you can support our shelter. Mm -hmm. And um, just so you know, more information about La Posada, I'm going to be there too, so if they <laughs> want to get <laughs> yeah. to know me. And, but yes, like that's a little bit of what's going to happen. Perfect. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, you can definitely head over to their Facebook, their website, or their number. If you grab their number or any of their information that was on your screen previously, go ahead and write that down. That way you can go ahead and get in contact with them if you're interested in helping or in general you just want to go to the event because it sounds like a great time. <laughs> so, Magda, thank you so much for coming in. I greatly appreciate it, and I wish you best of luck at this upcoming event. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you for you. having me. Yes. All right, folks, when we come back, we are talking to the folks from the St. Baldrick's Foundation. We'll be right back.